Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdul Hanan Rashid. I am the student of King Edward Medical University, first year MBBS. Today I wanted to share some guidelines, the subject wise guidelines actually for the MDCAT. Now let's jump into biology first. So that is basically your major portion of MDCAT. So that needs to be focused and given more time with respect to other subjects. And in biology, you will have first um, your biomolecules. Uh, which include your enzymes in the second chapter of the first year of biology and then you will have your cell chapter and then you'll have the human systems which is some proportion from first year and some from the second year of biology including respiratory system, the digestive system, the transport chapter, the lymphatic system and um, the excretory system, the nervous system, the hormonal system, skeletal and muscular systems, all of these systems. So um, keep in mind that you have your textbooks as a source, so always stick to your textbooks, keep reading them over and over again and highlight the tiny minor details. Also pay attention to all of these diagrams which are given for the systems and the diseases related to the systems are also very important. Then come your evolution, genetics, the biotechnology chapter and the biotechnology chapter and the environmental biology which includes all of your ozone layer and deforestation and all of these uh, <clears throat> tiny little head, um, headings. So if you um, keep reading your books very thoroughly, just the textbooks, then I think you'll be inshallah well to go for biology. In chemistry, if we say that chemistry is broken down into organic and inorganic parts, the organic part is basically your second year chemistry and that needs to be done from the textbook and the reactions need to be remembered, all the reactions need to be memorized and you should very very well know your structure formulas, your other formulas and um, your other formulas and all, all the other reactions which are important uh, for example the alkenes, alkenes I think alkynes are not inclu included, but the alkenes, alkanes, alkyl halides, ketones, and aldehydes, these are all very important. The carboxylic acids as well. And then come your polymers, and then some of your environmental chemistry, which is um, according to the guidelines given by UHS. And then come your first year chemistry. First year chemistry includes a very important chapter, which is the first chapter. And there's always uh, multiple choice questions uh, regarding the numericals of the first chapter. So make sure you have a very good grip of that and make sure that you do it by hand, not by calculator, because you won't have the calculator in MDCAT. And um, then you have your states of matter. Then you have your electronic configuration of the um, elements. You should know the electronic configurations really right off your head. And um, then the <coughs> more important ones are the your reaction kinetics and chapter 9, some of the multiple choice questions and your molar ratios. So that includes with the chapter 1 as well. Now let's come to physics. Physics is um, the most important part in, uh, because regarding because the way you study for FSC is very different than the way you study for MDCAT in physics. In physics, you basically for in MDCAT you focus on the formulas, the way you use the formulas, and the numerical problems, the ones that you can do by your hand. So those ones and then you focus on the uh, very important values which are given in the textbook so reading the textbook really helps to build the concept but then if you keep practicing the um, the numerical problems and the other problems from different sources that you gather then that would be really helpful for physics and also follow the UHS guideline for the physics as well which was given last year I think um, that will be the same this year as well and now I come to English English is a um, a subject of worries for a lot of students because they don't know how to do English. They either read the textbook and they try to cram the textbook for the grammar purposes but I think that would be a lot of labor. Instead what you can do is you can pick a good grammar book maybe advised by your teacher and then you can uh, focus on building the concepts of the grammar so if you do the grammar really good and then you know the structure of your sentence and then you can break the sentence into each, each of its parts then you it's very easy for you to find find the error where wherever it is in the sentence and then come the vocab part the vocabulary is very important and there are books and they are very um uh, predefined words for the vocab so know your vocabulary very well sometimes the words um, which sometimes the word given by UHS have other meanings as well so uh, just for your knowledge that you should know all the aspects of each word and have a good, good grip of the words otherwise everything 
uh, needs time and I think you should if you're giving appropriate amount of time just as how the M multiple choice questions need to be done um, and uh, just how the, how much um, uh, proportion uh, the MDCAT has actually in your exam so then you will be able to do it really nicely thank you so much